Hello YouTubers, this is Brian again from Van Solar Adventures and I wanted to do a couple video clips um, on uh, the Yeti 1400 and specifically I purchased the Yeti MPPT solar charging optimization module. There may already be some other videos on YouTube but I, I, I'm not sure of that so I just wanted to post this and uh, I'm actually installing it today. Here's what the uh, unit looks like the MPPT module uh, it claims something I'll have to look at the directions again it's either 40 or 60 percent uh, charging efficiency gains on the uh, standard uh, charging and it, it comes it comes with the the charging unit as well as some screws in case you some longer screws and um, so also when you install it you basically you, you, you open this uh, top lid, and then as you're facing the unit, you remove these uh, six screws here. I've already removed three. I'm gonna remove some more, and I'll do another uh, clip, okay? Oh, oh, and make sure everything's turned off. Make sure there's no power output going out. Make sure there's no power input going in. Okay, that top cover is off now. It's really simple, just a flathead screwdriver, six screws, and then uh, the top cover uh, of that section comes off here. So that's pretty simple. The other key next part here is it's labeled positive and negative. And then this expansion module is also labeled, you can see here, positive and negative make sure you line those up properly you could do probably significant damage to the unit not doing that properly i learned that the hard way on <laughs> on batteries um and uh, also uh only connect approved goal zero accessories to this port so when i bought this yeti 14,000 lithium solar charger they told me it was going to be compatible with this expansion module so so I believe all Yeti 1400s uh, are compatible. So I'll show you the next clip. One more thing before I connect this. There's a data transmission connector and the power. And there's a corresponding data transmission cable. It looks like a uh, H, small HDMI uh, mini, whatever you call that, mini HDMI uh, port. And so those all have to uh, match appropriately. Thought I'd show the connections here. It's a little bit dark. Sorry about that. But I've connected the positive, the positive, negative to negative, and I've got the data transmission uh, cable connected here. And, and you, you do it with the long end towards the rear. And I'll show another clip with it fully installed. Okay, there it is installed. Uh, there is a recessed area where the uh, excess cabling fits in. It still doesn't fit flush, but and then the reason they provide these uh, extra long screws is because there's four screw positions, longer screw positions in order to secure this. All right, I highly recommend that you do get a Phillips screwdriver with a magnetic uh, uh, head because the screws are long and it's kind of hard getting down in there. And so uh, highly recommend you, you, you do that. But anyways, that was pretty easy screwing that in. And then, so now that this is secure, you simply plug in. So basically, they've replicated these inputs here. So the original uh, input is is still there, but it says if you light it up in blue. And I, I've got uh, 250 watt panels, so 300 watts going into this. At most, even on a sunny day, that's going to be uh, probably 250 watts. You can see it's got 177 watts going into it. Really. I didn't actually expect it to get that much because this this battery is already pretty much full. Um, all right, one more clip after this, and we done. All right, I wanted to do one last clip here, uh, pointing out a couple facts. Uh, instructions say do not exceed 22 volts or 350 watt input. I have 300 watts going into this. Max efficiency is maybe 80 percent, so I'll never have probably more than 260 watts or so going into this. So that's fine, I'm underneath the 350 watts. 
and I can even hook up another solar panel if I want to and charge it even faster, but it's typically not needed. Also, I wanted to point out, why would I, why would I do this? Uh, this is straight out of the instructions. Uh, it says that uh, right here, you have optimized the charging efficiency up to 40%, so it should be, uh, you, I should be able to get 40% more power into my battery versus the standard uh, solar uh, controller that's installed on this. And also, when connected to AC, the wall power in the house, you get 20% more efficiency, meaning that it's less electricity wa wasted, more power going into the unit. So anyways, uh, it's, it's much more efficient, uh, especially in low light conditions. You want to get as much sun out of uh, in, into your batteries even in low light conditions so this will help with that which I live in Missouri I don't live in Arizona or or, or Florida where there's constant Sun uh, I live if you live in a shady state you want an MPT charge controller and also if you're in the house and you're charging with APC, a AC power it charges 20% faster there so that's it pretty simple clean install uh, the engineers did a good job designing this. Uh, they've matched the heights here so the lid will close easily. And that, that is the install and charging of my uh, Yeti 1400 MPPT uh, expansion module. Have a good day, peeps.